Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. Okay, so today I had an idea, uh, a follow-up on the technique that I did yesterday, which was a balloon kiss on a swipe. And uh, we're gonna see if it pans out. So, the colors we have today. Artist Loft Silver. Artist Loft Old Gold. Copper. Metallic Leaf Green. And Metallic Cobalt Blue. And I have the black in the Flow Acrylic. I have uh, custom mixed a couple of colors here. To the silver, I have added some of the Cobalt Blue. I have made this color, which is a mixture of the Cobalt Blue, the silver, and a little bit of white. And this is uh, the green, the gold, some silver, and some white. I have mixed them uh, kind of eyeball. I did a little bit of flow trial and I used the deco art pouring medium. That has a tendency to help it set up and get tackier. Um, it dries quicker. So I have added some to that to see if that helps in my efforts. So I'm trying to do a flower looking thing um with a swipe so let's get to business oh i have added two of these paints and these paints are, are pretty thick i've kept this on the thicker side i've added some hask argan oil as my silicone okay I think how I want to attack this. I will start from the leafy parts. So for those who have been keeping up, my GoFundMe and my first day having it up, my uh, pre-order campaign for my third CD, uh, I am one-tenth of the way to my goal, which is amazing. Um, you know, every CD that is pre-ordered is about 15 minutes in the studio. So every little bit helps and I am so very grateful to the folks who are helping me make this happen. It's, uh, it is humbling and it, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely got the warm fuzzies. So um, thank you you guys and there will be a more official thank you that's going to happen I have some copper here did I mention the copper yes I did okay
Okay. Got the flower segment in there. Actually, let me put a bit more green so we have some leaf action. within what will hopefully become flowers. All right, and now for our sky. Okay, here we go. I did put down this puppy pad. I should have put it down first, but uh, that's gonna come in handy when the next step comes in, when I bring in uh, the balloon. All right, I'm letting this touch. Oh no, not all that. Just the black, just the black. Too much. Oh dear. Okay, well, we got this. Let me try to get this area having a hard time getting used to the sheet protector. Um, I usually use a wet paper towel, but the wet paper towel seems to soak up a lot of paint. Okay. I'm gonna leave this alone. I'm gonna let it do its thing and then I'm gonna come in. There are definitely places that I could uh, keep fiddling with, but maybe they will work out when I do the next step. I say all this as I continue to fiddle with the sides. Okay, I am back. This has been sitting for a while. I kind of did a little test. I took a straw and I just kind of blew in the center of a cell to see how quickly it sprang back. And the sides are starting to set up and I'm afraid to wait too long to do those. So, I'm going to do the sides and see what happens. This is kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> 
I like this painting the way it is, so, you know. Okay. Well, not quite what I was going for, but we'll see. Actually, that kind of came out cool. On the very edges, it's it's kind of hard to keep it from uh, pulling all the paint off down to the canvas. I'm using a light touch. I'm gonna have to make it lighter, I think. I don't like the angle of this right here. But I'm worried if I mess around with it too much, I'm gonna mess it up. Oh boy, here we go. I still think this center needs to set up more. The edges are ready, but the center is not. Mm. Okay, so the edges were starting to set up and I had to do those, but this center, I really feel like I need to let this sit for a little bit because I'm not doing myself any favors here. So, back in view. All right, so I've let this sit for a while longer, maybe like another half hour. And I need to finish this because dinner needs to happen. So <laughs> this may be too soon, but we're gonna see. It's definitely more set up because it's leaving some peaks. That's Satchmo, who knows that dinner's about to happen. We have to hide the food in the microwave when, uh, when it's not being immediately addressed. Do I want to do another? Maybe a tiny one. A little bigger than that. And you can see in the cells what colors are sitting underneath.
one more. Yeah, I'm going to leave this alone because I don't think that uh, I will be improving anything by continuing. So I will bring you in for a close up. Okay, so here it is. For the first try, I'm very happy with it. I definitely learned a lot. I love the blue background um, looking like it's part of a separate piece. And then the, the colors popping out from underneath when you use the balloon. Room for improvement. But overall, I think that I would call this a win. I will definitely be playing with this some more. I bet this is a, when this dries and that's all metallics, that's gonna be popping off of that canvas. So I'm very excited to see this dry. I hope you learned something, I sure did. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my GoFundMe CD pre-order. There's a, a, a video that you can watch and you can laugh at me trying to look, look uh, comfortable in front of a camera. Uh, there's also some tunes that I play at the end. So if you haven't heard me sing yet, there's your chance. Also in the description box are links to my website, GinaDeLuca.net, where you can purchase my artwork and my music and the Amazon store where anything that you purchase through the entire site of Amazon, if you enter through that link, I make a small commission at no extra cost to you. And go make some art. Join us on Facebook. Post your masterpieces. Get some inspiration. Get some questions answered should you have them. All right, you guys, that's it for me. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.